It's Senior Bowl week down there in Mobile, Alabama, but that's not the only all-star showcase going on for the 2024 NFL Draft as they also have the East-West Shrine Bowl that went on Thursday night in Frisco, Texas. So today we're going to be breaking down all the best players from that showcase, all the players uh, that that's, draft stock has gone up throughout the week of practice and, of course, the game from last night. And, of course, the Senior Bowl is on Saturday, so we're going to be having a video for you guys right here on the channel. channel. Winners and losers from Senior Bowl week down there in Mobile, Alabama. Tom Downey will be doing that video on Saturday afternoon. So make sure you guys click that subscribe button for our Senior Bowl reaction video right after the game concludes in Mobile on Saturday. All right, so let's get into the winners, or the risers, I should say, from the 2024 Shrine Bowl, starting with Talia Tungavailoa, the brother of Tua Tungavailoa. And let me tell you something, man. Talia looked damn good last night in Frisco, Texas, there at the Star. Uh, right now, Pro Football Focus ranks him 218th on their list of prospects for the 2024 NFL Draft. But you know what, man? Talia just looked like he was playing at a completely different speed from the rest of the players on the field last night. He was getting outside the pocket. He was making off-platform throws. He was, he was bombing it down the field. He had two touchdowns, one as a rusher uh, where he was able to run away from a linebacker, and then also a really nice red zone touchdown pass where he was able to uh, step up in the pocket and deliver a nice strike to his wide receiver. So Talia is somebody that I kind of uh, refer, refer to as Bryce Young Light. He's definitely undersized. He's slightly taller than Bryce Young, but he's somebody that has good pocket presence, has good playmaking instincts outside of the pocket, and then he's got that quick release where he's able to throw from any platform and shoot from the hip whenever he wants. He looked fantastic last night, and if you're looking for somebody, if your foot favorite team needs a quarterback in like the fourth, fifth round, I think Talia Tungavailoa is definitely a name to be watching out for. Then we get to the offensive MVP from the game last night, and it's Frank Gore Jr. Tell me if you've heard that name before. Yes, Frank Gore Jr. out of Southern Mississippi, currently ranked 195th on Pro Football Focus's big board. Uh, started off the game with a bang there with an over 40-yard touchdown run, taking it to the crib. Was absolutely fantastic in this football game, and I definitely think he helped out his draft stock with a solid performance in Frisco last night. Then we get to the other MVP of the game. The defensive MVP went to Jarius Monroe, the cornerback out of Tulane. Very long corner. That was definitely very sticky yesterday. Right now, Pro Football Focus does not have him ranked on their, on their list of top prospects. And I definitely think with his week of practice and then his MVP performance on the defensive side of the ball, I definitely think his draft stock is going to start rising uh, to potentially a late day three cornerback prospect for an NFL franchise. Then we get to the guy that maybe had the best week of practice at the Shrine Bowl, which is Christian Boyd, the defensive tackle of the University of Northern Iowa. That's right. This guy was absolutely dominant. I mean, some of the clips that this guy had coming out of practice, just straight up dominating guys. Uh, there's even a guy from Michigan, a guard from the national championship uh, winning Michigan Wolverines. He was dominating that guy. He absolutely balled out. Right now, Pro Football Focus has him ranked as the 135th ranked prospect. I think he's going to get inside the top 100 after a dominant performance at the Shrine Bowl. Then we get to somebody that's coming to us from the Canadian Football League, Quantez Stiggers, a cornerback with good measurements. He's got, he was really good uh, in press man coverage in practice all week, and he was the rookie of the year for the Toronto Argonauts in the Canadian Football League last year. So this guy, he's young, he's, he's got playing experience, he was really, really good uh, in that CFL season, his rookie season last year, and he really showed out against these top NFL draft prospects here at the Shrine Bowl. Really excited to see what he's going to be able to do and how much his draft stock rises uh, thanks to this performance here at this year's Shrine Bowl. Now coming up here, I got more Shrine Bowl risers from this year's uh, East-West Shrine Bowl game. But before I get into those names, make sure you go check out our friends at PrizePix. Go to prizepix.com slash CLNS and use our code CLNS 
for first deposit match up to $100 today. The Super Bowl is right around the corner. If you want to make this year's Super Bowl viewing experience even more interesting for yourself, you can get started with today's sponsor, Prize Picks, which is a skill based, real money, daily fantasy sports game. And if you're wondering how that works, here's how you play you pick two to six players, and if they'll go for more or less than their Prize Picks projection, you can even win up to 25 times your money on any entry. So let's take a look at my entry for Super Bowl 58 between the 49ers and Chiefs. And I'm an optimist, guys, so I'm going to take the more on Christian McCaffrey. Rush yards, and then I like both tight ends in this football game, so I'll take the more on receiving yards for both Travis Kelsey and George Kittle. You can check it out now and get your uh, projections in before the big game in a couple of weeks by going to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use our code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100 today. With prize picks, it takes less than 60 seconds to make your picks. So get started right now. Go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use our code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100 today. Another player that definitely helped his draft stock this week was Xavier Thomas, the edge rusher from the Clemson Tigers, currently ranked 124th on Pro Football Focus's big board. Now, the measurements didn't really come out nicely for Xavier Thomas. He's got kind of shorter arms, all these different things. However, this guy was absolutely dominant in practice. He was showing how crafty he is with his finesse moves, his hand fighting, his ability to get around the edge. Xavier Thomas is definitely somebody that maybe doesn't have the tools to be a number one dominant edge rusher in the league, but he's got enough finesse and he's got enough savvy to definitely potentially be a really good rotational edge rusher in the National Football League from day one. So if you're looking for somebody there late day two, early day three to get as a really nice rotation piece along the defensive line that can attack the quarterback on third downs, I think Xavier Thomas is one that you could be looking out for. And then somebody that reminded me a little bit, just a little bit of Zay Flowers when he played in the Shrine Bowl last year, Malik Washington, a little bit of a smaller receiver, but he was, uh, he was top three in the nation this year in terms of pro football focus grading, and PFF currently has him ranked 127th on their big board, but this guy could simply not be covered in practices this week. He's a bit shorter, but he's very, very shifty. Uh, he reminds me a lot of both Zay Flowers and Tank Dell from last year, kind of those smaller wide receivers, but fantastic route runners always get open. I think he's going to definitely be a riser throughout this draft process. Then we get to the big boys in the middle of the offensive line, starting with Christian Mahogany, potentially uh, the, the highest-ranked player uh, on Pro Football Focus's big board coming into the week, and he absolutely solidified his status as one of, if not the best, interior offensive linemen in this year's draft class. He was absolutely fantastic. He was dominant. Now, of course, the Shrine Bowl guy is not quite as good as, like, say, the Senior Bowl, but Mahogany, as somebody that's a top 100 prospect coming in, absolutely lived up to that height. He was absolutely fantastic. But the guy that I think definitely helped his draft stock the most at that position was South Dakota State's Mason McCormick, who came into the weekend not even ranked by Pro Football Focus, and he was kind of going uh, with Christian Mahogany kind of step for step. I won't say he had quite as good of a week, but McCormick, it was very tough to get by him. He had a really good week of practice, and I definitely think he could get drafted, especially in kind of a, a, kind of a more shallow interior offensive lineman class in 2024. And then we'll finish out the top 10 list here with the Darian Taylor Demerson out of Texas Tech. And in a safety class that has some really nice versatile pieces towards the top of this year's draft class, I think the Darian is kind of a good day two, maybe early day three guy that gives you some versatility. He, he was flying around at practice all week. He can play nickel corner. He brings that versatility and he brings the juice, man. You can tell when he's on the field where he's at at all times. He's flying around, and he's definitely somebody I think NFL teams are going to love his attitude and his playing uh, personality because it definitely flies on tape. Now, some of the other risers that you could potentially take away from this week, Tyrone Tracy Jr., a running back in special teams, a return man specialist, really had a good week of practice as well, specifically as a uh, kickoff and punt return man. Definitely has that kind of dynamic quality to him. I could definitely see him potentially getting drafted on day three as a special team specialist. Cornelius Lucas, a bigger wide receiver from the University of Michigan, uh, was kind of buried there with how much talent they have there with the Wolverines, but he would definitely had a good week as well, really using his size 
uh, to his advantage. Then you got another interior offensive lineman from the K-State Wildcats, uh, Kaitori Levison, had a really good week of practice. Jawan Briggs, the defensive tackle from Cincinnati, really showed off his power. I think that he had a good week. And then former Michigan Wolverine went to the sh went to Charlotte this past year. Yabi Oki, a little bit of a uh, not didn't really measure all that well, kind of shorter arms, et cetera, kind of like uh, Xavier Thomas from Clemson, but like Thomas as well, really crafty, really had a good week going up against these offensive tackles. I think uh, Yabi Oki had a really good week of practice there in Frisco here for the Shrine Bowl. So who's your guy? Let me know down there in the comments section. Who is a sleeper in this year's draft class that's probably going to go day three that you're getting excited about, that you want your team to draft. Let me know down there in the comments section who's a sleeper in this year's NFL draft class that you want your team to, to draft this year. That'll be it for today's show, guys. Thank you so much for all of your support. Again, make sure you guys click that subscribe button because Tom Downey, he's going to be here on Saturday for giving you guys the winners and losers from Mobile, Alabama for the Senior Bowl. So make sure you click that subscribe button for wall-to-wall -wall NFL draft coverage all throughout the 2024 offseason.